This is surveillance video of Elijah McLean's final trip to buy iced tea at a convenience store in Aurora, Colorado last August. His family says he sometimes wore a ski mask to keep warm because he was anemic. 911, what is the address of the emergency? Minutes later, this 911 call. Yeah, he's walking south on Billy Street. He has a mask on. The caller tells the dispatcher a man looks sketchy but makes no mention of any crime. Were any weapons involved or mentioned? No. Officers arrive stop. at the scene. Stop. I have a right to stop you because you're being suspicious. Well, okay. Turn around. And Turn within around. 19 seconds, an escalation. Oh, Let go of me. Stop. 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 No, I am an introvert. Stop. Please respect the boundaries that I am to. speaking. Stop Relax. tensing up. Stop. stop. Relax. Stop. I'm going home. Relax or I'm going to have to change this situation. During a struggle, one officer says this. Just write your gun, dude. Stop, dude. Officers then apply a chokehold on McLean's neck. Yeah, breathe directly. Eight minutes pass with McLean handcuffed on the ground, occasionally throwing up. My name is Elijah McLean. What's this going on? Paramedics soon give him ketamine, a sedative. Seven minutes later, responding officers are told he has no pulse in the back of an ambulance. Are you serious? Yeah. He's revived, but is brain dead and is taken off life support three days later. An internal investigation found the officers followed policy and an autopsy declared McLean's cause of death undetermined. The district attorney declined to file charges. Yeah, I'm not trying to justify the officer's actions. I'm only saying that I, I cannot prove a crime beyond a reasonable doubt. But the governor has now appointed the state's attorney general as a special prosecutor in the case. McLean was a 23-year-old massage therapist who liked to play the violin for shelter animals. He weighed just 140 pounds. Big bullies with badges caught him off guard and then brutalized him on camera. No comment today from the union representing the three officers, but Aurora PD just confirmed that they've been reassigned to non-enforcement duties for their own protection. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.